Fewer cars on the roads should mean less pollution, and there is some data out showing that. Experts here in Colorado are studying what it means. Jacqueline Quinn spoke with a scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. She's with us this morning. Jacqueline? Yeah, and we talked about how it really just feels like it's been forever since we've been traveling and commuting uh, like usual. But looking at some of this data around here, uh, they have to take into account that it takes a while to really look at some of these uh, changes. And there are a number of factors that really go into this. So air monitors around Denver, well, they show that particulate matter uh, is down somewhat. And part of that is uh, what makes up pollution in the area. However, that data has yet to be analyzed by research. Researchers and uh, while some people do point to satellite imagery that show less emissions over parts of the world in the U.S., including here in Colorado, scientists at the National Center for Atmospheric Research say the observations that come from these uh, could be flawed. Now, Denver typically does not have ozone problems outside of the summertime, so we we won't see uh, elevated ozone until June. Uh, we all hope that this will not go on until June, but if it did, uh, we could see the, uh, the real-time impacts on ozone. I see. Uh, right now, all we can see is the, the, the raw data of the emitted compounds that typically conspire to form ozone, but they don't do that in March because the days are too short, uh, there's not enough sunshine, and the meteorological conditions in March are not conducive uh, to, uh, to producing high ozone in the area. With that said, he said, you know, just the reduction in commuting and traveling, it does have an impact, but really this is not the way to go about it, you know, having a shutdown here. And, of course, they are going to be waiting to analyze this data here in the near future. Uh, but also he says, you know, this is a time to think about how you commute and travel because, again, this could help the environment in the future. For now, reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First. Jacqueline, thanks a lot.